All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to daily update of my 1000 day challenge. This day, ARA four. So let's get things started. All right, so overall, no change in terms of equity balance wise because I'm not entering any trade right now, both in terms of four hour and daily chart. And what I mentioned for this uh, daily journal update itself, I'll just be focusing on the four hour and daily chart. Reason being is from day to day itself, it wouldn't make sense to give you the update on what potentially could happen intraday itself, simply because that trade will be taken in between the day itself and closes perhaps also in between the day itself. So more on the four hour and daily time frame is more of a suitable time frame if you guys are looking more on a daily or on, on a more kind of a part time kind of basis, that will make much more of a sense in that sense. All right, so going in terms of daily bias itself, across the board, it definitely still bearish. And we can see that we did actually break below the low and we do open itself. So fortunately, we do see some support over here. But I still think that for S&P 500 and Nasdaq, we definitely still think towards the low over here to at least this 34K to 33K region itself for uh, S&P 500. In the case of Nasdaq itself, uh, seemingly we do see some support over here. And that's perhaps a good sign because it just barely touched this uh, green support zone region itself. So that's perhaps a good sign to start off with. And then over in terms of ASHR wise, I still need those bearish buyers, but bear in mind that even though it hasn't touched this line itself, but similarly to what S&P 500 itself, we usually treat it as a zone itself, especially on the very first <coughs> bounce itself, when it does happen, it may not necessarily touch it, simply because buyers will be more keen to step in slightly above, it's just like if everybody knows that the, the price is going to be 25.60, then people will check out a little bit by 25.61, 25.62, and slowly moving a little bit up in the sense. So 2630 is still, in my opinion, within the zone of a potential strong support over here. And the next question is for me to see whether it does this balance itself or confirm itself as a strong support will be to see the confirmation candlestick. This will mean that in the following one to two days, we need to see a very strong price action towards the upside. And that will confirm that there is potentially a strong set of support. So something you see over here, like the next day itself, we gap up. And then we actually continue a little bit. Similarly, we touch this once, the next day we gap up, and then we try to move to a subset. So these are very clear signs that there is signs of strength. Well, over here, you can see signs of weakness, and even though we have a bounce, it's a very weak bounce, and then we go down again. So this is the kind of a sentiment that I'm seeing overall across the board. And over in terms of carrot wise, definitely I'll consider support consider barely touched over here, but I'll still consider it as touch the touch point itself. The next question is do we see a strong bounce on the coming week again? If we do, then perhaps there could be a shift of sentiment. But if that does not happen, we do hover around here, then that will definitely be leaning towards bearish sentiment. And we could, without a doubt, still see much further pain in that sense. All right, and then finally for Bitcoin, it finally broke quite decisively below 19k mark. But bearing in mind that we are still attempted to break below this 18k mark for quite a few, a few days, I wouldn't say a lot of days, but at least two days itself, I actually did manage to bounce of it. But overall, I definitely still lean towards bearish sentiment itself because it's clear high, lower high, lower high, and low, lower, low, and perhaps even lower, lower over here. So I do think that we are very much likely to touch this 16K or even this 14K mark region itself. The question is when and how strongly will we touch that region and how strongly will we be able to bounce off of that. And if we do not bounce off strong of that, that is where I'll be a little bit more cautious as to add it in that sense. But we do bounce strongly off of that the following day, uh, the following next day itself, then there'll be a very good sign of a strength, signs of strength in that sense, at least in the very short term. Long term wise, it's hard to say just purely based on a uh, single candlestick itself, but rather to say you have to look over in terms of overall market sentiment in that sense. All right, with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.